We're live. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, guys, welcome to team training. Right now, we're going to spend five minutes of our time tagging our team, copying and pasting our Zoom link, letting them know, hey, you cannot miss this training. Let's go, guys. We're only six people up. Four more minutes to go. Six more people added to the call. You've got to grind right now and get your people on this call. For those that showed up early once again, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate leaders like you because you are the ones that's taking this opportunity serious. And sometimes the leaders have to pick up the slack of the ones that don't choose to show up. You guys, I get it. Sometimes you can't show up, right? You got to go to work. It was mandatory this weekend. Or you couldn't show up because you're in a family event this weekend. But guys, this is becoming a habit. We can't have this every single weekend, right? So for those who are not here and you're watching this recording, please understand that we had to take five minutes out of our time to tag you because you didn't show up, okay? So when you're watching this recording, do yourself a favor and show up next Sunday. When is team training, guys? Sundays, 6 p.m. Eastern. Sundays, 6 p.m. Eastern. Write that in your notes. I think I kind of love what Renee's doing. I can tell she's taking notes, right? Great job, Renee. Absolutely love it. That's right, baby. Millionaires take notes. That's right. So guys, listen to me. 34 people, I'm starting in two minutes. Two minutes, okay? With that being said, guys, uh, I just want to go ahead and show my appreciation to those who showed up the, uh, to the call today. Uh, thank you for being here. Always, Mr. J, obviously, right? Because you guys, Mr. J, run all, a lot of the IT stuff for me behind the scenes that you guys don't know about. I really absolutely appreciate him being on this team. Thank you for that. Uh, Diane. I love your consistency, not only here today, but inside of the group as well. Monty, let's go. Thank you for being here. Tony, thank you for being here. Roxanne, I appreciate you being here. Uh, Miss K, thank you for showing up today. Wayne, let's go. Thank you for being here today. Kevin Williams, let's go, man. Thank you for being here. Sheikah, thank you for being here. Janera, working hard. Let's go, girl. Thank you for being here. Rogers, thank you for being here. I appreciate you. I want to say, uh, uh, Re Reverlay, thank you for being here. Amina, thank you for being here. Mike Jones, glad that you're here. Chad, thank you for showing up. Lori, thank you for being here. Kevin Scott, thank you for being here. You guys continue to tag your team. We got one minute left. Elizabeth, thank you for showing up today. Zenith, thank you for showing up. Whoever that iPhone is, it's probably a lot of you carrying an iPhone. Next time, put your name in here so you can get recognized. Thank you for being here today. Okay, Roderick, thank you for showing up today. Anise, thank you for being here. Jillian, way to go. Don, thank you for showing up. Akende, thank you for being here. Akersha, glad to have you today. Pastor Renee, thank you for being here. Doretha, Thank you for being here. Elton, of course, I know you're here. Let's go. Thank you for being here. Martel, thank you for being here. Zillionaire Michelle, absolutely love the name. Thank you for showing up today. The Profit Network, love it. Thank you for being here. Teresa, thank you for being a part of this team and showing up. Brandy, glad to have you today. You guys, if I missed you, I'm not going back. That's because you're late right? And we already took up the first five minutes. So we're going to go ahead and jump into training. But while I'm sharing my screen, guys, uh, you've got to put your team on these calls. Does that make sense? Absolutely no excuse. You've got to get your team to these calls. Well, what if I don't have anybody? Go get somebody. Be responsible. Be a leader. Let's go, guys. Come on. We're making this hard. So, guys, with that being said, let's jump right into our team meeting. You guys already know I love engagement in the chat room. If you're not going to learn, why are you here? If you know, you're not going to engage, why are you here? If you're not going to take notes, why are you here? 
right? If you don't want to become a millionaire or a billionaire, why are you here, right? So today, guys, let's hold ourselves accountable and let's jump into this team meeting. So what is this team meeting all about today? You guys is going down today. So drop some fires in the chat room because today this meeting is all about you and I, right? The topic today, the lesson today is teamwork. Everybody here on the call is going to learn the power of teamwork. Everybody that showed up today is a leader. So here's what you need to do, leaders. You've got to go out when the recording drops and you have to personally send it to all of your people that didn't show up today with a, I hope you are responsible, show up next week message. If you guys got it, drop some number ones in the chat room, right? So guys, today you're going to learn all about teamwork. And many of you heard this word a million times. I don't care how many times you've heard it, but did you understand it? And do you know the power of what can happen if we all use teamwork? What does that mean? Work as a team, okay? So everybody put teamwork in the chat room and let's do this. So guys, what is teamwork? You can say it all day, but what does it actually mean? You guys, the definition of teamwork is right here in front of you. It's the combined action of a group of people, especially when effective and efficient. Let's go over that. What is teamwork, guys? The combined action. Which means what? Action needs to happen. Right? What does it take? A group of people. Who is that group of people? You and I. Everybody on this team. Got it? Especially when effective and efficient. It has to be a system in place for you to duplicate and consistently do every single day. So some of you is like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But what does that actually mean? Let's talk about it. You guys, we got to work as a team. And what does teamwork looks like? It means everybody on this team have to take action. Not just the 34 people that showed up to this call. Not just 100 people. Everybody have to show up to the call do you understand to everything everybody gotta take action mute your microphone thank you so guys what does action mean action is the fact or process of doing something typically to achieve an aim or a goal are you guys taking action right Everybody here, why are you here? If I ask you, right, why are you here right now? What's your financial goal? Put it in the chat room. And if it takes you all day, you don't even know. What's your financial goal? Why are you here? What are you aiming for? Right? What are you aiming for? Put that in your chat. Right? Put it in there. So, you guys, whatever you're aiming for... Is it worth taking action and going through the process? Keyword process is not going to happen overnight. Got it? That's what action looks like. You have to show up every day and you've got to be willing to go to the process, go through the process to get to that action goal that you just dropped in the chat room. Do you guys understand? Yes and no in the chat room. Yes and no in the chat room, okay? And the reason why I brought this up today, because some of you think you're taking action and you're not. Some of you work this business for one to three days, and then you come in my inbox and said, I tried. I reached out to everybody I know, and I'm done. You guys, three days? Three days, and you're ready to throw in the towel. Whoa, and you wonder why you're not successful. Sorry, but it's the truth. 
right? Some of you don't even give yourself 30, uh, 30 days. You guys, the average business takes how long to build? One to five years. And over here, you need a good three to 12 months to be financially stable. And you're worried about finding three people. Mindset check. Got it? So guys, just do something in your business every single day. But understand it's a process. Okay? So let's talk about the group of people. Who are the group of people? You guys, the group of people is you and I. Okay. And it's going to take team work to get it done. I don't care how good I am. I can't do it alone. I don't care how good Elton is. He can't do it alone. I don't care how good Elaine is. Doretha is right. They can't do it alone. Lori, she can't do it alone. Monty, Connie, they can't do it alone. Arturo can't do it alone. Roderick, Timothy, can't do it alone. Amina, can't do it alone. You guys notice how I know certain people names. Danny, can't do it alone. You've got to help out. So stop being lazy and do your part. Work as a team. So you guys, if you look at this picture in front of you, Notice how everybody is helping everybody up the mountain top. You guys, when you first start the mountain, if you had to climb a mountain, it's easy. But once you start to climb the mountain, right? The closer you get to the top, the harder the process is going to become. Why? Because your reward is right around the corner. Understand that. But you've got to do some work. You can't expect a handout. Did you understand that? Right? Drop some fives in the chat room if you're with me. So, Shana, I understand we got to work as a team. But what does that look like? And it's okay to not know what teamwork look like. Because some of us uh, in our lifestyles, an example is not being set of teamwork. So, I get it. But you guys, how you was born is not your fault. How you die has everything to do with you. So let me show you what teamwork looks like. Okay? First off, you've got to see the vision of what you have your hands on. You have your hands on a multi-billion dollar opportunity if you max this out. Did you hear me? A multi-billion dollar opportunity if you max this out. But some of you, your vision is not that big. You don't believe that big. And that's okay. Start where you are. Maybe your vision is 10000 a month or 5000 a month. Whatever your vision is. You'll never get to it if you don't do your part. What's your part, guys? Hardest part of this business, how many people do you need? Drop the answer in the chat room because I'm tired of saying it. Everybody should know it by heart. How many strategic partners do you need in this business to make multi-billions? Don't make it hard. You guys, three. Three people puts you on the escalator to multi-billions of dollars. Do you understand that? Or do I have to jump through the screen and shake you literally? Wow. Three people, huh? So some of you are sitting here with like, Shauna, I don't know how to get three people. I'm all tapped out. I can promise you on this call right now that none of you put everything you have learned to use. If you've even held yourself accountable and caught up on the training videos that you missed. Because if you're watching the training videos, it is impossible to fail. You guys, you watch a video, you take action. Did you hear me? So how can you get your three people? Let me show you how to do that today. Choose whatever way you want. Just do something. Got it? So you can choose to do it through social media marketing. Marketing. 
Facebook, post ads, message, uh, messaging marketing. I don't care. Okay. TikTok videos, faceless videos, or short videos of you explaining your business. I don't care. Right. Short reels, guys, put in awesome pictures with great music right? Business motivational music behind those pictures. And you're going to get hundreds of views every single day, right? Go back to your viewers and market to them, right? You're getting sauce right now. You should be taking notes. Okay. Uh, Instagram is all about photos. Mr. J drops a lot of photos that he got from uh, Elaine that you guys heard about on locker room training inside of our no limit lifestyle millionaires club facebook group make sure you go to that group and take those photos guys very professional make sure you just put some bomb words behind it some awesome words behind it curiosity that's gonna want to make people click on your reel got it click on your picture on instagram okay now that was just a few okay email marketing so many of you have joined so many businesses with so many different people and you don't really like to talk to people. You're an introvert. I get it. So what you do is you put together a well put out email and you send out a blast email to everybody on your email list and you will, you should get three from that alone. Take notes. So you won't say you didn't teach us how to do it, okay? Now, let's talk about direct marketing. You guys, listen, direct marketing is so, so easy. It only becomes hard when you overthink it because when you overthink it, you don't sound like you're doing something you love to do. You don't sound like it's natural, okay? You start sounding like uh, the typical salesperson, Okay, what is direct marketing? Direct marketing is anybody that I directly come in face-to-face -face contact with, I will share with them what I am doing as long as they leave the doorway open for me to do so. If you guys understood that, put got it in the chat room, okay? Direct marketing. Right. So if I'm in a grocery store, right, and somebody's shopping and we both have kids and they have a beautiful baby, I would say, hell, wow, excuse me, beautiful baby. And they would say, thank you. And I would say, look, we're both moms. Ha ha ha. She would say, yes. I'll say, look, I'm a mom of six. And they'll say, really? You? And I'll say, yes. And I'm like, you know, with kids, you know, we need extra money. Are you looking for some extra income? Yes. Awesome. You know, right now we're grocery uh, shopping. Let's exchange information. Email name, phone number. Got it. Email name, phone number. Got it. Email name, phone number. Easy. You guys, I was picking up a friend the other day from an apartment building. And as soon as I came through the door, two people was coming out. And all I said was, hi, guys. And they said, hi. And I said, I know this may sound weird and you don't know me. But are you guys looking to make some extra money? And they was like, hell yeah. Where did you come from? Listen, guys, that was their exact words. Excuse my language. Okay. And then I simply exchanged information. Got a hold of them later, invited them to a Zoom or sent them a video. Well, what do you do after they go to the Zoom and send them a video? video? Plug them in with me or plug them in with your leader. That's it. Right. Now, cold marketing is kind of like what I went over, but cold marketing is just doing direct marketing to people you don't know, strangers, okay? That's all it is. Warm marketing is doing, uh, introducing people who have a relationship with you to your business. If I'm clear, put clear in the chat room, right? So warm marketing is like family, friends, the people they tell you to stay away from, right? Those type of people. People you've been in business with before, warm marketing. People that trust you, warm marketing, right? Those people that will never give up have those uh, can't, uh, can't quit, won't quit attitudes, warm marketing. People you know. You guys, this is kindergarten, right? 
best friends outings, right? A lot of you are not taking advantage of your business. You're making it hard instead of make it fun. Everybody put fun in the chat room. Let me show you how to make it fun. My kids get out of school in four weeks and we're literally going to ride the Greyhound bus to go get my mother because she doesn't like to get on airplanes or get in the car with almost anybody, anybody but me, okay? And I'm not driving three days cooped up with a bunch of kids. I'm not doing it. So we're going to get on the bus and I am going to be collecting names, phone numbers, and emails the whole time because I have a lot of different states to go through, not cities, states to go through. And I'm going to teach my teenagers how to do the same thing, right? Now watch this. Well, how are you going to make it fun? Well, when I get there with my mother, that's where I was born. That's where my family is. So guys, I'm literally going to have a pizza party at Pizza Hut and I'm going to pay for all the pizza and pitchers of soda, very budget style meal for leveling up everybody on my team. Pay attention. This is how you make it fun. And I'm going to make them put their phone number, name, and email address down if they want to enjoy free food. And while they're enjoying free food, I'm going to show them how to build generational wealth uh, for our whole entire family. You guys, I have over 2,000 people in my family. Do you guys see how I made that fun? Who doesn't like free food? What? Just for my information? Sure. That's it, guys. And I'm going to start signing them up one by one. It's that simple, okay? And last but not least, guys, uh, think about going on best friend outings. That was a family example. Uh, go out to eat with all your best friends. Go bowling with your best friends, whatever, right? Once you got them at a table eating and enjoying themselves, right? What better way to introduce them to your new project, which is a digital bank owner. Look at all these creative ideas, family tree, family wealth. You guys, like I just gave you an example, build your family for wealth. Don't look at it like a business standpoint, go to your family and literally ask them, you know, you guys, it's time we build uh, wealth as a family. Times are getting hard. Do you guys Guys, put a list together. Don't even tell them what it's about. Whoever say yes, put them on that list. And when your list get big enough, you put them all in one room, invite them to a nice budget meal, and show them what you got. Okay, if you got it, put got it in the chat room. Coworkers, some of you go work for your boss every single day. I'm sure you have one to two favorite coworkers at your job that you can tell about this business. And last but not least, entities. Right. If you know business owners, churches, it doesn't matter, guys. Entities can come into this business. I hope I was clear. Right. So that was the longest slide ever. But it had a lot of value if you took advantage of it. If you use everything in front of you, you will get your three. Got it. Awesome. So, guys, what you need to know is we can only do it as a team. Like I said earlier, teamwork, nothing moves faster than teamwork. And some of you still not understanding what teamwork is. So earlier, we, under, uh, we were talking about effective. Some of you use the word all the time, but you don't know what it means. So let's talk about what it means. Effective, all it means is successful in producing a desired or intended result. You guys, your financial goal that you dropped in the chat room, you're not going to be able to produce that goal if you don't move consistently, you'll never reach that result, right? Understand that. You got to show up every day until you do your part. I don't care if somebody helped you with one of yours. You're not done. I owe you. Everybody put I owe you in the chat. Just because you got three, if somebody had to help you, you're not done. I owe you. I hope we're clear. 
So let's be effective as a team. Show up every day as a team. Put all these things that we just learned right here to use every day as a team. Don't stop until you get your three. So what does that mean? Yes, that means you have to be consistent until you reach that desired result. What is the end result? Three. Three people puts you on the money escalator. Three people put you on a money escalator. Some of you are too busy wasting your time on thinking too much about this business. You're overthinking this business. What do I need to do? Go get three. Well, um, well, how do you log into your back office? Go get three. You don't have to know nothing to go get three. All you have to do is pique their interest and share a video or pique their interest and invite them to a Zoom call or pique, th pique their interest, give them a video and put me in a three-way call or a three-way chat or one of our leaders on our team. I hope I'm clear, but you're not done till you get your three. How you want to be a millionaire and you, you're tired already. You're tired already for working for yourself. Boy, many of us are programmed. So now that you know how to be effective, you have to learn how to be, uh, you have to know what efficient means. So guys, basically uh, uh, efficient is achieving maximum productivity with minimum wasted effort or expense, especially a system or machine, right? Look, this is boring today, but you're getting a lot of value and pay attention. So how do we be efficient as a team, guys? Well, first off, we need a system. What is the system? The digital wallet. That's the system. What's the machine? Smarter than money. Right? Now let's talk about it. Achieving maximum productivity with minimum wasted effort. If everybody on the team do a little bit for that one time 135 expense, we all will win and we don't have to work as hard. So why are you guys making this hard? Listen, if everybody do minimum, if everybody go get three, we keep saying it over and over again and you guys are too busy making excuses. Go get your three. So I don't have to stay up all night and do it for you. Elton don't have to stay up all night and do it for you. Mr. J don't have to work overtime to do it for you. And all the other leaders I mentioned earlier. You guys better wake up. Three people make you a billionaire and you can't do it. Man, man, man. You guys, today, I need you to stop making excuses. Because it is possible. Everybody in the chat room put, I will stop making excuses. And don't just put it, hold yourself accountable because I'm coming for you. Understand that, okay? Stop making excuses because it is possible. Well, my friends told me it's not possible. It is. I don't care what they said. What are you doing? What did you decide to do? Don't worry about what people say. Don't worry about if you can't get three. Just keep moving. Keep posting. Keep moving. Keep talking to people. Keep moving. Keep copying and pasting messages. Keep moving. Keep contacting your 5,000 Facebook friends. Keep moving. Keep showing up. Keep moving. Just keep moving. Boy, I need some water talking to you adults and stop making excuses. You know why I know it's possible? Because guys, we did it. You better drop some fires in the chat room because teamwork got us to 500 people in less than 60 days. So don't tell me it's not possible because the word it's possible says itself, I'm possible. 
impossible itself says I'm possible. You guys, you better drop some fire in the chat room because we are the fastest growing team and smarter than uh, money. If you're not excited about 500 members being on this team, not in the company, on your team, then you need to work on your inner self. Because when we see 500 members, that's 500 multimillionaires that we have to uh, get on the money escalator. That's on their way to becoming millionaires and billionaires. And I love it. So you better drop some chat, uh, some fire in the chat because I'm pumped up right now. So guys, right now, since you learned this lesson and you understand it, take teamwork, we got a job to do. And remember, this is bigger than you. So stop being selfish and learn how to be selfless. Because we have to double our team. Oh my Lord, Shana, we can't get to a thousand. You guys, I started at zero. How did I get to 500? You know how? Because I didn't listen to anybody. I didn't make excuses. I kept my eyes focused on a prize. What was the prize? The prize was the Lord. And the Lord said, if you keep your eyes focused on me, Shana, as long as you don't look down, you will make it. I can't call him a liar. I made it to 500. And I didn't do it by myself. I did it with each and every last one of you on this call. And I'm going to I'm gonna need everybody on this call to just take 10, 10% of my passion and go out and get your three. Get rich or die trying. How about that? Right? So guys, let's double our team. What does that look like? Not a thousand members, a thousand millionaires. I ain't going to go to church on y'all today. But what I am going to ask my team, because I need you right now, but understand if you're not ready to go, I will replace you or the system will compress you out if you're not even willing to try. So my question to you as your leader, are you up for the challenge? If you're up for the challenge, put challenge in the chat room. If you can't spell challenge, put yes in the chat room. You don't have to know how to spell to become a millionaire over here. I will put your three in the system for you. Hello, are you up for the challenge? What challenge, Shauna? Creating a thousand members as team, as a team. Showing up every day actually working and not making excuses why is she yelling um i'm not yelling you guys just don't understand how passionate i am about the movement that's being created are you up for the challenge do you really want to jump on the money escalator or are you faking? Because if you are faking, do yourself a favor and do this team a favor and quit while you are ahead. Was well, she asking me to quit because I can't get three? No, I'm asking you to quit if you are going to continue to make excuses. Don't go get three. Start with one. Don't go get three, start with one. But if you want to make this type of money, you got to be able to go get three people. Do you know what millionaires had to go through to become millionaires? What people had to go through to become billionaires? And all you got to do is go out and get three people and you still stuck? You can't go get three but you want to sit in the presence of millionaires. You want to become millionaires. You guys, they will literally laugh at you. 
Is it worth it? Is what worth it, billionaire Shauna? Is going to get three people worth your grandparents retiring so they can spend what they worked hard for their entire life, which is you? Well, Shauna, why is it me? Because your parents came from them and you came from your parents. Without your grandparents, the family tree would not be here. Aren't you tired of them working? Well, my grandparents don't work. Well, guess what? Some people, grandparents do. You still got people at Walmart handing out carts, greeting people when they come in. Stop acting like you don't see it and let's change the nation, okay? Well, do it for your partner. Do it for your significant other. Become a power couple that's going to change and influence the world for greater good, right? Well, I don't want to do it for me. Well, awesome. Do it for your kids. How dare you look at your kids every single day and you're not willing to go through the mud to create generational wealth for them like you're uh, going to wake up tomorrow. You're taking your life for granted. You better secure your kids. Hello, I secured mine. Right? Look, what about the teenagers in the world? You guys, the type of influence that our teenagers got today in the world is bad. It's bad, and I'm not even going to get into it. You guys know, stop faking like we don't, okay? But I say that to say this. The teenagers and the kids, they are the future of this nation. And how we lead them is what this nation is going to become. Teach them how to line themselves up for success so that they can pay their college tuition, right? So that they can become business owners, so that they can understand money because school didn't teach them. Is their parents going to teach them, right? So if you're not going to do it for you, do it for the teenagers. Don't shake your head in society of what you don't like uh, seeing become the change that you want to see. Got it? And what about the babies? You guys just look at that pretty little baby. Oh, boy, by the time that baby get 18, the world's going to be in trouble because you're scared to go get three. Let's secure our grandchildren and their children. And you guys, every generation that comes after us, even the ones we are not going to be around for, which is your family tree, that should mean everything to you. And I'm over here turning black and blue for you to go get three so we can get these millions and billions and you can change the world for whatever it is that you're passionate about. And you too busy worried about what people saying. You guys, they talked about Jesus, but he kept moving. Hello? So you got to ask yourself, is it worth leaving generation? Is it worth leaving generational wealth? Is it worth it? Yes. You guys, is it worth it? I'm asking you as a team. Put your answers in the chat room. Is it worth it? Yes. Is what worth it? Getting three. Y'all making this hard. So guys, here's our game plan for the upcoming week. Everybody got the same goal, right? Are we going to do it? Don't worry about are we going to do it. Just do it. Just do your part. And stop making this hard. So, guys, we got seven days into our next team meeting on Sunday. So, you have one week to bring in your one. Everybody put the number one in the chat room, right? You have one week to go get your one. We're not talking about three. You have one week to go get your one. Can you guys do that for me? If you can't do it for me, can you do it for yourself? If you can't do it for yourself, can you go out and do it for our nation, the future, the children, everything you sick or tired of seeing on the streets? You guys, go get one. You got seven days to go get one. And I'm going to tell you right now from experience, it's a numbers game. So if you really tighten up your shoelaces, 
and you literally grind for the entire seven days. I don't care because you got to go to work. Get up an hour earlier so that you can market your business and go to sleep an hour later. You chose to work for someone else instead of stabilizing yourself. That's the least we can do for ourselves. You guys go get your one. I'm done for today. I'm tired of talking about is it worth it to become a millionaire? Darn right, it's worth it. So what am I going to say? I'm going to leave you with these four words. Let's get to work. Let's go to work, team. Right? Let's go to work. Thank you, guys.